Well, hello and welcome to this episode. I hope you're fine from wherever you're watching this from. Um, as you've seen in the title, today we're going to learn some few tips on how to become a good dancer. So, I hope you stick to the end. Meanwhile, subscribe and like this video. It's free, by the way. So, see you in the video. So, on to the first tip. Uh, it says, um, oh, number one, believe in yourself. If you have to first believe in yourself, let's say we're moving to the right. We want to move to the right. You first have to tell yourself, we want to move to the right. I believe that I can move to the right. Now I translate whatever I believed in, in my mind, I put it into action. So I have believed in myself and I put it into action. The body does what the mind thinks. Ah, so intelligent. Now on to the second step. If you believe in yourself, you will pass the first test. Now the fist, the body has refused to put into action what the mind has thought of. The physical, your body, the physical has refused to connect to the mental. You thought of moving to the right, but your leg is too heavy. So you find yourself moving to the left. Now this is where the second step comes in and it all trickles down to why do you want to dance? Do you dance for fun? Do you want to become a professional dancer? Do you dance to become fit? Do you dance to entertain people? You love performing on stage. Why do you dance? If you're looking maybe to dance for fun, you can attend dance classes. Dance classes are usually a lot of fun. You're taught simple moves, basic moves, advanced moves, whatever you want. Um, if you're looking forward maybe to dance as a professional dancer, you need to find someone in the industry who has made it already. Like your mentor, your icon, you want to be like him or better than him. So maybe he will, he will be teaching you, be guiding you until you get to that point. So if you're looking forward to dance or fitness, you can find that dance fitness trainer. There's these people who do Zumba and all that. So my point is you should find a dance teacher. And if you can't afford one, maybe you can uh, watch tutorials on YouTube with the many YouTubers doing dance tutorials. If you want to be a good dancer, then you have to be committed. If you started attending dance classes, then you should you should not relent. If you've been doing your dance lessons every day in the morning, then be committed to dancing every morning. Let's not reach a point where you say, ah, today I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. That's the first step to fail, lack of commitment. Very dangerous, in fact. Be diverse. Don't be comfortable doing only one type of dance. There are many types of dances. We have hip hop, we have ballet, we have salsa, bachata, merengue, and all that, cocoon, jungle. We have dancehall, we have vogue. We have many types of dances. So try to learn each type of dance and see which one you're very good at. Maybe you're struggling with ballet and you're good at hip hop. Maybe you're struggling with uh, salsa and all that, but you're good at contemporary dance. So try to be diverse. I know there are many other tips you can learn along the way, along your journey of dance. So don't only be confined to what I've said. Watch other YouTube videos too and uh, gather up some knowledge you get. Gather up knowledge and be as good as you can be. So I'll leave you for now. See you next week with another great video. Make sure to leave a comment. Uh, you can suggest to me what topics I should do. So yeah, don't be shy. See you.